Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. The Super Bowl is perhaps the perfect encapsulation of all things America loves. The big game is a mega financial source of more than $12.2 billion for the National Football League. It is also one of the few events which gets a military flyover. <laughs> Having the finest fleet of planes to pass overhead. The U.S. Super Bowl flyover tradition stretches back some 50 years and has evolved into an important part of the pregame ceremony. On today's feature, let us explore the meticulous planning and coordination required to execute the U.S. Super Bowl flyover flawlessly. The Super Bowl flyover of 2021 had three of the most famous bombers in modern U.S. military history. The B-2 Spirit, B-1B Lancer, and the B-52 Stratofortress that arrived just as the final note of the national anthem was struck. But the seconds long appearance of the three aircraft took hours of planning and preparations. The B-1 was planned to fly from Ellsworth Air Force Base in South Dakota, the B-2 Spirit Stealth Bomber from Whiteman Air Force Base in Missouri, and the B-52 from Minot Air Force Base in North Dakota. Each of the aircraft had the flight plan loaded and filed ahead of time. Each aircraft crew had briefings that included the flight path and pattern, and the rendezvous point where the bombers would come together prior to the flyover to form the flight formation. Flying at low altitudes in urban areas poses several challenges. Well, we're an Air National Guard unit, we're just one component of that uh, air defense team that NORAD fields. Uh, it's a bunch of airmen, soldiers, Coast Guardsmen, uh, all working together with our interagency partners. Some of those partners, I've already talked about the Federal Aviation Administration, but then you also have Customs and Border Protection, the Secret Service, and the Civil Air Patrol. Air shows have been a great place for pilots to put their skills on display. Perhaps the most well-known example of these death-defying aerobatics can be seen in the incredibly popular Blue Angels. The Blue Angels were formed back in 1946 as a Navy flight exhibition team. We inspire a culture of excellence and service to country. That's our mission. We do that through flight demonstration and community outreach. Um, so really, we're just here to inspire the next generation of, of not just Marines, but Americans as a whole.
During the 1950s, the demonstration team added the F-9 Cougar and F-11 Tiger to its fleet and introduced the first six-plane Delta formation. In 1986, the Boeing F-A-18 Hornets replaced the existing aircraft in the fleet to celebrate their 40th anniversary. Today, a special division of the U.S. Navy, these F-18 Hornets travel all over the world, showing off stunts and delighting crowds. With the transition to the F-A-18 Hornet aircraft, the Blue Angels are able to perform intricate maneuvers with more precision and accuracy, among which includes one of their most popular and difficult tricks, being the double farble. Introduced in 1962, the double farble maneuver had both the flight leader and slot pilots fly inverted in close proximity. But how exactly is the double farvel executed? All the wingmen are going to separate. I'm going to move uh, to a, a position on top of boss. And then um, we're going to make sure that our flaps are up or in auto in the F-18. And then we're also going to make sure that our inverted fuel pump system is working, which basically allows us to fly inverted uh, more so than in a regular F-18 that you find in the fleet. So everything we do as far as the flight demonstration is based off center point. Uh, we look for visual points that lead into that point. So we'll go out there, we'll just be flying around looking for those points. And then uh, after that, once we find our points, we'll come back and we'll brief a demonstration practice. The capabilities of aircraft and their personnel have always impressed people on the ground. But some pilots have managed to take this show to an even more extreme level. Uh, the F-22, we have the ability to basically take our nose and go behind the tail, so we're actually going to put our nose behind the tails, and then we're going to power out of it and climb pure vertical here. So instead of just falling over and then falling towards the ground, we're actually using our thrust to continue climbing the vertical for the next maneuver. Aerial stunts using planes may undoubtedly be a great show, but an equally invigorating stunt is pulled off by a team of highly trained parachutists. The United States Navy Parachute Team, often referred to as the Leapfrogs, is part of the United States Navy and is made up of active duty Navy SEALs, special warfare combatant craft crewmen, and support personnel. The leapfrogs jump out of a plane and land in the center of a football field to portray precision and skill. However, just as with the flyovers, it takes a lot of coordination to get the presentation and accurate timely landing on the predetermined target mark. For decades now, daring pilots and passionate airmen have flown around the world to show off both their flying skills and the wonders of the flying machines. With the futuristic technology incorporated into modern aircraft, aviation aficionados are yet to witness the greatest of aerobatics in the skies. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. 
Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.